What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Brawlic John, with another episode of Ah! Actually, this is part one of a new series and a new playlist. Um, right now, guys, as you know, um, Regulation D is nearing its end. The World Championships in Japan have concluded, and I really feel like pumping out how to plays. Um, there's really not too many Pokemon that I haven't covered yet with a decent amount of meta relevancy, I should say. So, I started to thinking of what I can do next, my next little playlist to hold us over until September 13th, when we will be getting the new DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And I thought, why not do a series centered around mono-type Pokemon? So, Here's how it's going to work. I am going to put out a different video centered around a different mono type, usually twice a week, maybe three times, depending on the um, success of the series. And then at the series conclusion, we're going to take a look back and we're going to decide which team was the most fun and which team um, basically gave us the easiest victories. All right. Now, our first feature is arguably the strongest mono type in the game. It's the mono type that if you had to make a team would probably be the easiest to make. And that mono type is water. Now, why is water so strong? Well, to put it simply, rain is an absolutely busted weather, and water Pokemon are generally busted. They have really good defensive typing naturally, they have a lot of great Pokemon with really strong secondary typings, and also water houses Dondozo Tatsugiri, one of the easiest strategies to pull off in all of Scarlet and Violet. So let's take a look at the team. The team basically has two powerhouse modes with two different support Pokemon to make the dream work. Operation A is Pelipper plus Basculegion. Um, Basculegion has Swift Swim doubling its speed and rain. It has access to Terra Water Wave Crash, which is a ridiculously strong move. In accordance with Aqua Jet and Last Respects, Basculegion is one of the best late game sweepers in all of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation D. Our Pelipper is Terra Dragon, this covers for like electric, grass, fire, um, things that will, people will normally bring into the Pelipper matchup. It is running Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Wide Guard, and Tailwind with the Covert Cloak. Now Pelipper's main function is to set up the rain, however a Hurricane into a Moongus is an absolute important part of this team. Because when your opponent sees Mono Water, they are going to bring a Moongus, trust me. Speaking of a Moongus, we have Gyarados. The Gen 1 water type that just won't go away. Intimidate, safety goggles, flying terror type to give a terror blast flying and certain matchups can allow you to win. Waterfall plus T-Wave plus Taunt. This thing is here to pick up pesky Pokemon that I need that terror flying. And it's also here to really check the Amoonguses as well as the water Shifus. The Gyarados does a great job into those. Now, our other Pokemon is something that's a little bit off meta. I thought I might throw in a little bit of a fun Pokemon onto this mono water team. We have a Quagsire, and you know what? With Unaware, Terra Poison, Amnesia, this Quagsire, if it goes unchecked, is actually very bulky and very strong. I am running my Quagsire with max HP, max defense. The idea is if we get up just one Amnesia, Muddy Water in Rain is doing a really, really good amount of damage. Icy Wind is the type of late game speed control that can really catch your opponent off guard. And last but not least, we have Dondozo and Tatsugiri. It is a tale as old as time. Dondozo Terra Ground um, to help us check a lot of the electric threats in the format, mainly Iron Hands. Earthquake, Heavy Slam, Wave Crash, Order Up. I opted for the Assault Vest on Dozo because on this team, since we don't have access to things like Glamora or things like Grassy Terrain where we can heal up our Don Dozo, the function of this Dozo is to come out, do as much damage as it can, and then Basque Legion sweeps the end game, right? So this team is really, really fun. Um, it's a mono water team, so of course it has some limitations, but I really do think this team came out really, really well. If you guys want to run the mono water team, the rental's in the upper right-hand corner. Um, guys, enjoy the team. Enjoy the video. This is part one of our mono type playlist series. Enjoy the video, guys. Drop a like, a comment, a sub. Let me know what type you want to see me feature next. 
Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. First game of the day, and my opponent has Mouse Ape, which is always a little bit of a concern with Mouse Ape, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they've got Mouse Ape, they've got Fluttermane, Iron Hands. Flutter, um, Iron Hands obviously really, 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 really good here. Um, so, I'm trying to see if what's good here, right? Um, is something like Quagsire good? I mean, Quagsire ignores the Defiant um, stuff. I can't bring Gyarados because of that. Um, Quagsire ignores bulk up. It, it, offensively and defensively, actually, Quagsire looks pretty, pretty good here. Um, but I think... I, I really want to pressure the Annihilate slot with a first-turn knockout from Basket Legion. Uh, but it's really, really tough, right? It's so tough to say what's good here. Um, I think leading Pelipper and Don Dozo is, like, decent. Um, <clears throat> and then we could go with, like, Basque Legion in the back. And then something like, um, Tatsugiri here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Core 4 here. Uh, Quagsire might have been really good for me to bring. Um, but I'm kind of just so thrown off by the presence of an Annihilate that I just don't want to lose to Ape, right? Like, that's the one thing that I don't want to have happen here. So I think I'm trying to kind of put myself into a position where I don't go down to the Ape. Although, I think I should have led Basque Legion instead. So they go for Grim Snarl plus Ape. <clears throat> Um, which is interesting, right? Because they do have access to Fake Out here. Um, they do not have access to Bulk Up. So the question becomes, do I go for something like Tailwind? Or do I want to just double that Annihilate slot right now with this Hurricane? Because this Hurricane is actually so much pressure here, right? Just like a nice Hurricane into Annihilate. Um, followed by like a Wave Crash here into the Annihilate. Could be really, really nice here. Or even just an order up, and then next turn I can swap into Geary and go for, like, EQ. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think let's do that. I'm going to go for order up here. They're going to go for parting shot. Um, so the order up actually kind of covers a little bit for the parting shot, which is nice. Um, it means that Wave Crash plus Hurricane probably would have never killed here. Um, but let's see what this switch in is. I'm really interested to see what they're bringing in here. Is it just mouse? Alright, so they do switch in the mouse. Um, he goes for a Rage Fist. This is just a raw Rage Fist into Dozo. It's going to do like no damage. I'm going to hit a nice little order up here. That's going to get me back to neutral. Not expecting too much damage there. Um, Hurricane goes off into the Annihilate here. It's going to do about 50% damage. Um, now the question becomes, okay, so he goes for beat up, he rage fists into Don Dozo, but is that enough, right? And do I want to go for another hurricane here? Uh, I think I am down to swap in the Tatsugiri here, um, and I am down to, do I want to Terra ground EQ here for stab? Does that even help? Um, it gets a lot of damage on both sides. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it here. Um, it'll be plus two. This is debatable for sure. I don't think it picks up the Annihilate, but it's very interesting, right? I'm assuming we're gonna get something like Terra Water, maybe. He might even, um, side beat up into the Annihilate, and depending on the amount of damage EQ does, maybe that's enough. Uh, but let's see here. I'm really interested to see how this turn turns out. This could be a mistake, but when you're playing something like Mono Water, I mean, you just have to go for it, right? So that's what we're doing, guys. We are just going for it here. The hope is that Dozo does enough damage where Basque Legion plus Pelipper can kind of just finish up whatever's left here. We know there's a Grimmsnarl in the back, and Grimmsnarl does not necessarily offer a lot of, um, offensive pressure, you know? Uh, so the Annihilate just goes for Protect. Now, what's the Mouse Hold going for here? Beat up? Well, you can't beat up into... Oh, he beat up into the Pelipper? Okay, so he was just... So this is just a free EQ. This is fine. I get a good amount of chip damage into the Mouse here, um, which I think is okay. Um, 
Terra is out of the bag, which is a little unfortunate, but now he has to choose kind of what's going to happen here. Um, I put him in a position where setting up bulk up is probably not the best idea for him. Um, do I want to wave crash that slot? I think I'll just EQ to make sure that we get the mouse here or that he forces a protect. Because like I said, as long as this Annihilate stays below 50%, Oh, the baby doll eyes is rough, dude. That is actually so rough if he's going to be going for that. Um, Alright, so the mouse in the house does go down. So now I'm only plus one attack. He can bring out the Grimmsnarl again and bring me back down to neutral. Rage Fist goes out into the Dondozo here. Um, Dondozo actually eats it pretty well. The thing is, is like, I can just spam EQ here, I think. It should do enough damage on a consistent basis where, like I said, I'm just trying to set up the end game where I can just win with Pelipper plus, um, Pelipper plus Basket Legion, right? That's the end game. And I also have Scarf on my Tatsugiri here, which is really nice as well, uh, because it doesn't look like my opponent brought too much speed control, right? I assume this is going to be something like Grimmsnarl, yeah. He can set up Party Shot, he can set up Reflect, um, he could Protect... The Annihilate here. I'm torn between EQ spam and just letting him protect. I'm just gonna EQ spam here. Cause like I'm a little bit torn. He could just go for the protect, and then I would have wished I went for wave crash, but I think I want to save the wave crash for next turn. Maybe I let him think that I'm just only gonna hit EQ here. And he hasn't terrored yet, and the Annihilate can sometimes be Terra Water. So that's what I really don't want it to be. Um, now we are about to get the reveal of someone's Terra. It is Terra Annihilate into water. See, there you go. That's so that we don't go down to the wave crash, guys. That works out really nicely for me. I'm very, very happy that I went for EQ here. Now he has managed to bring me down to neutral. Um, so these EQs are not going to be doing a lot of damage, but that's okay. We're just pressuring the team down, doing as much chip damage as we can. And still, EQ into Iron Hands here is quite a bit of damage, even at neutral, right? Um, so this is good for me. Chipping down the Iron Hands is actually really, really good for me. Alright, so that's good chip damage here. Um, oh my god, is that weakness policy? Oh my god, dude. No way, your weakness policy. Alright, Rage Fist into Dondozo here. Dondozo's only gonna last about one more turn. In fact, he can fake out and knock out the Dondozo here. He can definitely go for that play. Um, which, if he does, I, I don't necessarily think it's like the end of the world here. Uh, I'm gonna go for another um, EQ here. <clears throat> we'll just keep up the EQ spam. There's no reason to stop. He should be fake out into Rage Fist. And that will knock out the Dondozo. But then that gives me a clear avenue to go for um, Tatsugiri here, right? Alright, so there's the fake out. Yep, yep, yep. And he crit me. Yep. And then now the Annihilate will knock out here. Okay. So now it becomes the mind games, right? Of how this is going to play out here. Uh, because if the rain ends, I think rain should be ending this turn. I hope it does. The rain stops. Now we can bring in Pelipper to reset the rain, um, which means that Basque Legion should be able to finish up the end game here. And my Tatsugiri can kind of just um, spam maybe Muddy Water here would be pretty, pretty good. So let's bring out the Pelipper. We're going to reset the rain. We're almost going to act like bait, really. Um, this Pelipper goes down to one hit from the Iron Hands, but that is okay. I'm expecting like maybe a... Should I Tailwind? I don't think Tailwind really matters here. I'm going to go for Muddy Water in Rain. It should still be pretty, pretty good damage here. Um, Wide Guard, Tailwind, Hurricane. Um, I'm going to go for Tailwind here. Gosh, I just don't think the Tailwind... The Tailwind only matters if they don't knock out the Pelipper. Which is possible, right? Alright, I'm just gonna go for the Tailwind here. The Annihilate goes for Protect, okay. So, Tailwind could pay off for me here. 
All right, so Muddy Water into the Iron Hands. Let me get an Accuracy drop. Muddy Water in Rain. It's actually really good damage, dude. Tailwind comes out. All right, what do you got? Drain Punch into Tatsugiri. Oh my god, that's a one-hit knockout? Oh yeah, Weakness Policy. Oh man, I forgot about Weakness Policy. <laughs> Whoopsie, toasty! Alright, so I forgot about Weakness Policy. Good, It's a good thing I set up the rain here. <sighs> this is tough. Uh, we gotta bring in the Basket Legion here. I actually don't know. Ooh, this is tough. Uh, this is so tough, right? Because this could go so many different ways. I'm not sure that Hurricane takes out the ape from here. But I'm going to have to trust. Alright, so we are going to... No, there's no way it does, right? Alright, Wave Crash. Into the Iron Hands. And Hurricane. Into the Annihilate. Ooh, this is so tough, but I have to do this. The Annihilate switches out. Oh, wait, I think I win. I think that switch on Annihilate should win it for me here. Because now the Wave Crash goes out into the Iron Hands. It's going to be a one-hit knockout. And now I get a free Hurricane into the Grim Snarl slot. So now I can pressure with um, Last Respects into Annihilate here. Which is really, really good. Hurricane does about decent damage there to the Grim Snarl. Um, did Grim Snarl ever get up a Reflect? I actually don't know for sure. Um, three turns of rain, no Reflect here. So I'm going to go to a safely assume that Last Respects knocks out the Annihilate here. And I am going to go for another Hurricane into the Grim Snarl slot here. To go for another hurricane. I, I feel like Hydro Pump in Rain has a chance to one shot here, but it also has a chance to miss. And I feel like as long as I play this safe, I do think I win. Um, he can't fake out the Basket Legion because we're part ghost. He can't fake out the. Ooh. He can parting shot my Basket Legion. Oh, I should have covered for that, huh? Scary face? Basket Legion still outspeeds because I set up the Tailwind. Last Respects is going to knock out. Let's go, dude. Let's go, Mono Water. Taking out the Water Type Annihilate. Let's go, Mono Water. Let's just absolutely go places, dude. Hurricane into Grim. Consistent damage. That's what we're opting for here. Uh, we are going to Wave Crash the Grim and Hurricane the Grim. And that's a GG's. Let's go, dude. That was actually a really good game. I really had to kind of play around that Water Terra and make sure my win condition was available to me. That was a GG's. Yeah. Alrighty, next game of the day. And this looks awful. Because <laughs> uh, it's like kind of Trick Room, but also not really. Um. Yeah, this looks awful, huh? Um, Terra Grass Heatran could be an issue for us, but it's going to be hard to cover for everything. I just have to go with these four and just see what they lead. I just have to go with these four and see what they lead. It's interesting that even though I'm running Mono Water, literally everyone is bringing Heatran into this matchup, which is quite insane. It's, it's tough when my opponent has Heatran and also has Trick Room. Because if it's just Trick Room, Terra Water, Basket Legion covers for that. If it's Trick Room plus Heatran, then what happens is I end up using my Terra on the Basket Legion. And then my Quagsire can no longer sit in front of Heatran with Terra, um, Terra Blast Grass. They go for... Oh, is that a Dark Shifu? Ooh. That is scary. That is very scary. I have to stop Trick Room here. But also, Dark Shifu is scaring the life out of me. Alright, Terra Water, Wave Crash, the Crest. Hurricane, the Crest. I am so scared right now. 
Um, uh, I'm trying to think if I live. Su I know I live a regular sucker punch, but if that thing is choice band sucker punch, then we might just lose on turn zero, kind of thing. Uh, but let's see what my opponent goes for here. Protect the crest? Oh my god, why does your crest even have protect? What? Alright, well that's a loss. Yeah, this is a one-hit knockout. I mean, it's not a one-hit, but it puts me in sucker punch range. Uh, that is cringe. So you're not Trick Room then, like, I refi- Like, if you're Trick Room Protect, then I just don't have words to express the way I feel. I just don't have words to express the way I feel. Let's see what they are. Um, I know Protect in front of Urshifu is a meme, but I'm assuming it's Sucker Punches. Yep. Okay. Oh my god. What a day, dude. It's like, <laughs> I pick up the Mono Water team, and I'm thinking to myself, nice. This It's my chance to meme. But I can't even meme. My opponents are just memeier than me. Dude, this is insane. He actually sets up Trick Room here. Dude actually just sets up Trick Room. Okay. We're gonna hard switch into Quagsire. Um, actually, I think hard switch into Gary might be better. And then we are going to... Hurricane the Urshifu slots? Eh. I could probably just Hurricane Crest for some chip damage here. Okay. Is this a Moongus on the switch-in, by the way? Is this a Moongus on the switch-in, by the way? Oh, Ursa Luna. Okay. Um, I'm really hoping that Urshifu goes for Protect here, but we'll see. Maybe he went for another Sucker Punch. Alright, he Sucker Punches the Pelipper, but Pelipper is actually really, really bulky here. Hurricane into the Ursaluna slot. You know what's crazy? I debated just going for Hydro Pump there. If I hit Hydro Pump, I think that's actually, like, insane, you know? insane if I hit the Hydro Pump there. Um, do I just double the Ursaluna here? Or do I switch out the Pelipper into Quagsire? Because he's gonna start going for Fachadis. Or do I just double the slot now and give him a kill? I think I'm just gonna double the slot here. Ooh. So he switches out. Is this now a Moongus? It's back to Cress. I am, um, confused. I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. This is so rough. There's a Moongus. Hydro Pump, good chip damage. Waterfall, good chip damage. I think another Waterfall actually just kills the Crest here. So I am going to Waterfall here. And I should be taunting that Amoongus, but I think actually kind of doing this is the better play. Um, and then I can go for just Hurricane into the Amoongus slot. Because Pelipper can go to sleep here. Yeah, this is fine. Pelipper can go to sleep. If I knock out the Crest, then it's kind of just okay, right? Moonblast into Gary, not going to do too much damage here. We are going to knock out the crest here. <clears throat> okay. The thing is, is I need to preserve Rain, because I need my Basque Legion to outspeed the Urshifu. Rain does stop. Alright, so here's the thing now. Now this Ursaluna threatens my, um... Now Ursaluna threatens my Gyarados with a knockout. There's only one turn of Trick Room, though. I am down to... I am down to taunt the Amoongus. Swap out the Pelipper into Quagsire here. <clears throat> uh... 
and then let's see how this plays out. Oh, you know what's crazy? I am max defense, max HP on the Quagsire. Alright, so Spore does go into my safety goggles, and I do get the taunt out into the, um, into the Amoongus slot here. So now I can play a really interesting game, right? Now I can play this really interesting game where he can't Rage Powder. Um, I can bring in the Basket Legion. Um, pressure the Ursaluna slot with Wave Crash, I guess. We'll do this. Let's set up the rain again. I wanted to bring in the Basket Legion, but if I bring in the Basket Legion, Ursula definitely just protects, you know? Um, I think I am down to Waterfall this slot, and then go for Hurricane into this slot, assuming I wake up. Because I think I took my turn of sleep, right guys? Did I take my turn of sleep? I actually don't think so. This is an interesting game. I feel like my opponent had me. And then they kind of played with their food in a way. So now this is Urshifu, who I could have doubled this slot to make sure the Urshifu goes down. They're going to use their Terra here, probably on the Ursaluna, I would imagine. Uh, what Terra type are you though, buddy? Terra Ghost. Okay, so Terra Ghost means Last Respects always knocks out, right? So that's cool. Waterfall into the Earth, almost a knockout. If I could get a flinch. Oh, Pelipper wakes up, let's go! That's beautiful right there. That is beautiful. Show me a flinch. Show me a flinch. Come on. Show me a flinch, baby. Alright, Fachadi into Gary. Gary, thank you for your service. You've been good to me, Gary. You've been good to me. So now he can Rage Powder. Now he can Rage Powder. Okay, I think I win no matter what. I think I win no matter what, even if he Rage Powders. Because what I can do, I can go for Rage Powder. So I last respects the Amoongus. I Hurricane and then Ursaluna kills one of my Pokemon, and the other one revenge kills and wins the game. Alright, here we go. This should be my win condition. Last respects into Amoongus. Massive damage. Alright, don't be a berry. Don't be a berry. Nice. Hurricane's going to knock out the Amoongus. Yes, sir. Alright, now Ursaluna. Choose your target. Who goes down here, buddy? Ursaluna goes for Chadi into Pelipper. Pelipper. GG's, Pelly. GG's. Alright, now Ursaluna takes some chip damage from the burn. Um, Aqua Jet should just kill here. Aqua Jet into Urs. Yep, that's a GG's. Let's go, dude. I cannot believe I, on turn one, I doubled into a Protect and I still won that game. Holy pop off, dude. What a day I am having. GG's to my opponent. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. And this is an interesting one because um, that's an Urshifu. <laughs> I see Great Tusk. Um, Heatran likes to go Terra Grass, so Heatran's definitely something we want to respect here. Um, it's definitely an interesting team. I like the idea of Pelipper. Um, their team is pretty physical, right? Minus the Heatran here. It's a good amount of physical mons. Uh, I'm wondering if Quagsire is it's, it's just good here. Or do we go for Dondozo? The problem with Dondozo spam is like um, EQ. He has Orthworm to kind of eat up those EQs. And then assuming it's something like Terra Grass on Heatran, that could be really, really rough for me. Um, I like the idea, I think, of Quagsire. I'm going to try to set it up here. I'm going to have Gyarados and Basket Legion in the back. I'm going to try to win the game with Basket Legion here. If I can bring Basket Legion in the endgame in rain, 
um, then I should be able to win with just last respect spam. The way to position it though is I have to have Quagsire and Gyarados kind of do a little bit of work in the early game to really get me there. So let's see what my opponent brings out. My opponent goes for Screamtail and Amoongus here. Now, the Amoongus is interesting because, um, obviously it can start going for Spore and things like that. Um, I also want to protect in front of that Screamtail. So here's what I want to do. I want to switch out into Gyarados. Because Gary is safety goggles. I want to go Terra Poison. Alright? Just in case this Amoongus is like, um, Giga Drain or something weird. And then, do I want to set up an Amnesia now, or do I just want to start going for, like, um, Icy Wind, Muddy Water type stuff? As of now, he's not pressuring me with any special Pokemon, so I think a Muddy Water is kind of fine here. Um, just to start getting some damage onto Screamtail. Let's see what he has here. Because his team is mostly physical, right? So I feel like setting up the Amnesia is kind of not needed. We'll see if this is a special Screamtail. Um, that is to be determined. Um, but here we go. <clears throat> I am putting my eggs into the Terra Poison Quagsire basket here. Let's see what my opponent goes for. <clears throat> Alright, so Terra Poison should protect me. Um, turns out they're just screens. Okay. Are you screens plus like Disable and Encore? Oh, Muddy Water misses the Scream Tail. Absolute nightmare of a turn one for me there. And he spores the Quagsire. Yeah, so that's like a that's an actual nightmare of a turn for me, for sure. <clears throat> Definite nightmare of a turn. We are going to taunt the Amoongus. And I'm going to press Muddy Water again. If I would have just gotten the um, the Muddy Water hit into the Screamtail, that would have been really, really nice. Um, now we get to taunt the Tusk. Um, he sets up a Reflect. I mean, Waterfall in range should still be really, really nice here. Um, he cannot protect. He can go for a ground move into that Quag. I'm wondering if that's what he's going to go for here. I take my one turn of Guaranteed Sleep. I am now going to Waterfall the um, Great Tusk, and I am going to switch in the Pelipper here, uh, because I assume this is Headlong Rush into the Quagsire slot, right? That's just my assumption, and I don't know, I assume the Tusk is faster. It's gonna go for a Howl, okay. So Screamtail is setting up some Howls, interesting. Rock Slide! Oh, that is the worst case scenario but also I think I can make it work I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this now I think I can make that work I think I can make that work guys we just have to stay wide stay wide gamers all right Pelipper lives the play rough rock slide into the stay wide gamers here we go beautiful 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 Alright, Waterfall into the Tusk. That's gonna knock out the Tusk here. Okay. Alright, so... Decent turn there. Could have been worse. Um, having my Pelipper switch into a Rock Slide is not ideal. So now he brings out Heatran, right? Okay. So the Heatran comes out here. I think I want to T-Wave the Heatran. And I think I want to switch into Quagsire here. Because <clears throat> I want to save the Pelipper to hit the Amoongus with Hurricane, right? This is going to be a really hard game for me to win here. <clears throat> if I had just hit that first Muddy Water on the Scream Tail, I'd be feeling so much better, right? Alright, so this is Terra Grass Heatran. The thing is, is Last Respect should knock out this Heatran if I put myself in a situation where, like, I'm there, you know? Um, the Play Rough misses the Gary. That's kind of good for me. Oh, I miss T-Wave, dude. Oh, that's so bad. 
Alright, he does go for Terror Blast into the Quagsire here, which does way more than it has any right to its life. Dude, what's up with the Life Orb he trans? Um, okay. That did so much more than I feel like it had any right to do, honestly. Opponent's light screen wears off. I really don't want to switch here. I really just want to get this T-Wave off into Heatran there. And I think I want to get off an Amnesia here if I wake up. Alright, play rough into Gary. Gary lives. That's fine. Dude, I missed two T- No, oh, that's game-changing. That is absolutely game-changing. Because if T-Wave lands, not only does that, like, what he's doing not matter here. Oh my god, dude. That's so bad, man. That is so genuinely awful. Um, that's just awful. I, it's bad enough that I'm mono water, but like I already played, outplayed my opponent big time. For me to lose like this is actually quite frustrating. It's quite frustrating. This is definitely not the way you would like to be losing. Uh, I mean, I think last respects maybe knocks out. If it doesn't knock out, then I just hard lose. But it's just so just poopy, man. It's just so poopy. Oh! Because, guys, like, it changes everything. Like, if I hit even just one T-Wave, I'm not even asking for a lot. It changes everything here. Uh, I am going to go for the Tailwind here. I am going to go for the Last Respects into the Heatran. I have no idea if this kills or not, but I really needed to. Alright, so the Heatran does get knocked out here. Um, let's see what the Screamtail goes for in the way of damage and or support. Uh, there we go. He goes for Reflect. Okay. So now it's a Moongus and Screamtail, right? This is tough. This is tough. Here's the Amoongus. Uh... Man, do we still win this game? Tough to say. Hurricane into the Amoongus. Last respects. Um, into the Scream Tail, right? Or do I double the Amoongus here? They got last respects the Scream Tail. All right, I assume this knocks out. Let's go, dude! Basque Legion, absolutely clutch, man. Here we go, Fat Hurricane into the Amoongus. That's a two-hit knockout. Spore into Basque Legion. Let's go, dude. My opponent high-rolled the life out of me, and we still come back, baby. Oh, that feels good, guys. That feels real good. Oh. I just feel bad because Quagsire deserved to have such a good game there. And I feel like I got robbed of my really good Quagsire game, but that's alright. It happens. GG's to my opponent. Good comeback. Let's get another W. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been part one of our monotyping series in Regulation D. Um, the Basket Legion was absolutely awesome. I got absolutely tilted in that game three. I could not help it. I felt like the world was against me. I missed both my T waves, but we came through and we clutched up with Basket Legion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like the team. Try out the rental code. Get up to 30% off of your next order on gfuel.com by using discount code BrawlicJohn. Guys, enjoy the video. Yeah.